The feeling I get when I arrive at the site is one of, um, that you could be anywhere. You could be miles away from Christchurch. The site being on the coast, we get the fantastic views and have great sunny days. But you also get days here where the fog can roll in and you're really living in uh, something without an outlook. The client's brief was for a, uh, a retreat. They live in Christchurch but travel a lot. It was for a place they could entertain guests uh, and really a house that was quite simple forms that sat well in the landscape. Part of the client's brief was to have basically no windows facing the road. So you wind down the driveway into the forecourt and basically the house turns its back on that part and opens out to the front to the views. The house is made up of five simple gable end forms and they're all linked together with the entryway and the hallway. From standing outside you'll see them, they all step away from each other and break up the mass of the house and create a very simple building. On the exterior we've just used one material and that's E-Span Long Run, which is a tray type profile. And we've used that on the walls and the roof. There's no spoutings. Everything's very simple, once again coming to this idea of very simple forms. And the colour we've chosen is Colour Steel Flax Bod colour, which is a, a very dark colour and links it back into the surroundings that so picks up the colour of the rocks and the hills. We've used the local volcanic stone on the garage and the retaining wall at the back, which provides a great feature at the entry forecourt. Part of the accommodation here is a bedroom and ensuite area above the garage that's called the treehouse. And it's accessed from outside, so you get to it externally, which is a different sort of experience for the guests and offers them a bit more privacy. Both fireplaces in the house, the interior one and the exterior one, are uh, in situ concrete with a boarded finish. The bedrooms have their own small decks that keep them quite private. And then we've got a series of decks off the living space, sort of tucked into recesses, providing shelter areas that are going to catch the sun at a separate time. But if I had to pick one special feature of the house, it would be the pool and the uh, cabana. It's just something quite special, it's something you'd almost see in Hollywood. New Zealand architecture is heading in a direction where sustainability and carbon footprints is going to become much more important. I think the days of doing a lot of bigger houses are starting to become numbered. I think people are starting to look at what they actually need to build to live in. We have a great reputation here of producing fantastic residential houses and I think that that will feed into it and I think the houses we produce will just get better.